In today's tutorial I will show you how to make boring photos look epic in Luminar Neo. Luminar Neo is advanced photo editing software designed to simplify and enhance the editing process for photographers of all levels. To learn more and download this software with amazing tools, visit the link in the description. You no longer need expensive studio lighting. Luminar Neo Studio Light Tool offers professional grade lighting control. And now I will show you how to achieve a dual tone effect in your photo. Double click on Luminar Neo. Click on Add Photos, then on Add Image and then select the photo you want to edit. Now click on the Edit tab. On the right side you will find a set of tools. Let's begin by cropping the photo into a portrait format suitable for Instagram. When you're done, click the Apply button. Now click on Black and White tool and then select Convert to Black and White. After that, select Relight tool. Move the brightness far slider down to make the background darker. Then move brightness near slider up to make the person in the picture brighter. Now in the portrait tab select studio light option. The dot on the left side represents a movable light source that you can place anywhere in the photo to simulate a real lighting. Choose a color and then adjust the saturation. Then increase the amount as much as it looks natural in your photo. Move the depth slider down and then adjust the brightness and light contrast to match your photo. As you can see, when you move the dot, the angle of the lighting changes. Now click anywhere on the photo to add a new light source. Pick a different color and then adjust the remaining settings to your preference. You can always change the position of the lighting by moving the dots that are on the photo. Here you can see how my photo looks before and after editing. To export a photo, click the export button in the upper right corner, then select the folder and then click export. In this tutorial I will show you how to change the sky in your photos. On the right side in the creative tab you will find the sky option. Here you can choose one of the skies you like to replace in your photo. As you can see you can use any sky, you just need to adjust scene relighting so that the photo look as natural as possible. Here you can see how my photo looks before and after editing. You can also adjust other settings for more realistic results. The Portrait Bokeh tool in Luminar Neo allows you to effortlessly create stunning bokeh effects that isolates your subject by blurring the background. Before editing I will choose one of the presets from the Cinematic tab. To start editing click on the edit tab. First I will use the enhance tool to make the photo even better. Now in the portrait tab find the portrait bokeh tool. Adjust the amount to your preference and if needed use the brush tool to correct any errors.
here you can adjust background settings to make this effect even better. Let's take a look at the before and after of my photo. Now I will show you how to create a clone effect that will make any photo more interesting. For this photo edit you need to take 3 pictures in the same location. First click the plus button on the left, then add your photo. Click on the photo to add it as a layer and then enlarge it and position it on the left side. On the right side increase the opacity, then click on masking and select portrait background. After that click on remove. Now add a new photo as a layer and then repeat the same process as with the first photo. This time you need to position the photo on the right side. On the right side increase the opacity, then click on masking and select portrait background. After that click on remove. Now export the photo and then remove it from the catalog. Click on the add photos and select the photo you exported. Click on the edit tab and then on the right side in the creative tab select the blur option. Select the twisted option and then set the blur effect amount. After that place the center of the blur aside it. Now click on the masking and then select the brush and adjust it aside it. Paint over the clones on the left and right. I will now apply a black vignette to emphasize the center of the photo. You can also add some layers if you want the photo to look more interesting. In Luminar Neo you can change the atmosphere and make your photo look cinematic. And now I will show you how you can do it. I suggest adding a fade effect first, which is in the matte option. Customize the other settings to your preference, then choose the atmosphere option. Here you can choose the effect you like and then you can adjust it. Now click on the mood option and select the effect you like. Let's take a look at the before and after of my photo. Luminar Neo comes with a wide range of useful tools. To learn more or download the software, check out the link in the video's description.